Paul Lawrence Dunbar's poem, A Warm Day in Winter, and the late Toni Morrison's novel, Sula, depict aberrant weather, where winter's bitter cold gives way to unseasonable temperatures. When temperatures on the plantation rise, the speaker in Dunbar's poem describes the slave quarters as a place where physical labor gives way to jubilation. The hilltop section of Medallion, Ohio, ironically known as the bottom, is inhabited by the descendants of slaves who are denied a share of the town's prosperity. Near the end of Sula, the first day of a New Year's unseasonable weather induces the bottom's inhabitants to destroy the tunnel being built near the river, but the plan backfires and a large segment of the bottom's population is wiped out. The true scale of the disaster has been revealed in Sula's opening scene as the bottom is bulldozed to make way for the new Medallion City golf course. Dunbar's poem and Morrison's novel are attentive to the ways human freedom or its absence is manifest through spatial relations. Spatial relations in Medallion mean the golf course constitutes the reclamation of underutilized devalued property for green purposes that will serve the public good. If gentrification and climate change go hand in hand, we need to be highly critical of the way academic and political discourse promoting the benefits of urban greening orthodoxy often do so by intensifying rather than resisting highly inequitable social spatial outcomes. The subtitle of this talk, Why We Need Climate Change, indicates how urban greening orthodoxy's public good obscures the green gap where the white affluent homesteaders reclaiming inner cities are cast as the heroes of sustainability and positive change, while their black and brown neighbors are disenfranchised and subsequently displaced. The poet Michael S. Harper once wrote, a blind nation in storm mauls its own harbors. Racial climate change involves a commitment to democratic spatial relations. Endeavoring to accomplish this monumental task, we would do well to recall the words of Martin Luther King. We can learn to live together as brothers and sisters or perish together as fools. Thank you.